Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on June 25th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, a look at volcanoes and world weather. And always starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms. As yesterday I noted that we had 13 sunspot regions to observe on the earth facing sun right now. And as well, we were watching that large plasma filament dancing around in the southern hemisphere. And it did destabilize, but fall back into the sun. So having a look at the last 48 hours of imagery here, and you can see this is the filament building right here. And it literally spirals itself back into the surface of the sun, creating a huge tsunami, just like it did in the northern hemisphere last week. So sun doing some flip-flop events, and as well, the multiple sunspot regions definitely have to keep an eye on our sun over the next few days. I wanted to get a good look here at... Our sun at multi-spectrum as well here. Welcome everybody to the Daily Do. Don't forget to smack that like button, that like button, and as well share with your friends and family from around the world. We did have a couple C-class solar flares to report the last 48 hours. but nothing like the M-class solar flares that we saw earlier in the week. And there's a pretty strong C-class solar flare there, Earth-facing. And these sunspots are very busy right now. Here's a look at our magnetosphere. This is showing our solar winds as they're hitting us at about 490 kilometers per second and have been steady around that for the past 24 hours. Having a look at space weather conditions, we are under a G1 minor geomagnetic storm impacts are expected here. Weak power grid fluctuations can occur. Minor impact on satellite operations possible. Solar, solar X-ray flux reporting look at one, two, three, four, five, six strong c-class solar flares in the past 48 hours and it's been a strong c-class range here for the past week every so often popping out the m-class solar flares our geoma uh, geomagnetic activity did hop up to a kp of five after seeing it four last night a quick look here at the DRAP absorption map showing the highest frequency absorption around the world. Welcome everybody to this live stream daily do. Some people are in the live stream right now. Say hello to Anne Marie and as well Dr. Prepper if you're still in here. Yeah, we're going to wait. Definitely needing a new laptop here with daily events worldwide to keep bringing you quality entertainment. As with the laptop I'm using right now, just so slow. So there it is, hovering in the C-class range. Big pulse there over the Pacific Ocean. This is showing the, the last 24 hours. This is our magnetosphere for pressure planes, showing the solar winds hitting us at, as I said, almost 500 kilometers per second. Quick look here at LASCO 2, showing the last 48 hours of events coming from our star. No major CMEs to really talk about coming our way, but definitely seeing a couple solar flashes, earth facing position, solar flares. And 
Now let's get to earthquakes here for the past 24 hours as we did start out the day with a pretty strong earthquake 6.0 in Tonga region after seeing the earthquake 550 kilometer depth overnight and then right away you're seeing a 6.0 magnitude earthquake Tonga we'll just put the magnitudes on here followed by 5.4 ranging 5.4 to 4.7 4.5 earthquake there Papua New Guinea in between Australia and Indonesia 4.2 there Northwestern Australia as well pretty deep earthquake Indonesia Japan seeing a 5.8 earthquake there followed by 5.3 and 4.7 Tajikistan and also parts of central Russia reporting a 4.5 there 4.2 Iran and as well notable earthquakes here in the North Pole right straight in the North Bar North Pole region is Valbard looking at the Rick James Ridge fault line that goes straight across the North Pole 4.8 and a 4.5 reported there. Alaska seeing increased seismicity as well. USGS is reporting about 200 earthquakes the past 24 hour period, but seeing lots of minor seismicity building up through Alaska region, especially around Anchorage. That was noted yesterday. Nothing major to report here across North America. Notable earthquake here, 2.5 Tennessee. Activity coming back to Central America here. Most recent, 2.7 Puerto Rico. But 4.5 there in the region of Fuego Volcano. No new volcanoes to report today. But lots of activity through Argentina, Chile, moving north to Peru. Something big may be building here towards central regions of America, Mexico. Just having a look here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. All these white ones are most recent. Definitely something building northward. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware, prepared. That's what this is all about. Hashtag no fear here with daily events worldwide, just awareness and love, lots of love. Quick look here at USGS, get a quick refresher. 181 earthquakes in the map area right now they're reporting. And as I reported here, 6.0 magnitude earthquake Tonga. Also, New Zealand saw a sizable earthquake today. As soon as my uh, laptop catches up to us, I'll be able to show you. Yeah, of course, we're going to wait. And take this quick moment to thank everybody for watching and as well subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. I, I'm really happy that you enjoy the information and content shared here. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, memberships, and as well, all the love and comments with this channel. You guys are awesome. This is an amazing community. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. So here we are, 6.0 South of Tonga. And as well, New Zealand. I wanted to report this earthquake here. 2.7 North Island of New Zealand. And that's about it for earthquakes today. Quick look over California. Again, no major swarms to talk about. Interesting activity up into Lake Palmanor again. And a quick look at weather here. I wanted to give you I wanted to show you guys satellite imagery, live imagery, and as well the last seven days around the world as we've seen the increasing wildfires through Quebec. We've also been seeing increasing cloud cover and massive low pressure systems moving around our world right now. 
having a look at NASA worldview, starting out looking over North America and Canada. Huge low pressure system right here. All of your wildfires through Quebec. Nasty air quality moving down into northern Ontario and eastward into the Atlantic provinces. Even fires breaking out in northern Ontario. And here comes the next cold front. You can see this large cloud line moving southward. Here's a look at Tropical Storm Cindy. And here's Tropical Storm Brett. The center of the low is just east of Guatemala right now. And look at all this smoke moving across the Atlantic Ocean right now. And that came out of eastern Canada. All that is about to sweep over into Spain and into France. Great big world we're living in. Overlooking Africa. Massive dust storm moving off the coast of Senegal right now. And that is tucked up in behind Tropical Storm Cindy. Wildfires moving through Southern Congo region, Democratic Republic of Congo. Other than that, no typhoons or cyclones to report through the Western Pacific or the Indian Ocean. Overlooking Australia. Looks like they've got a few wildfires up in parts of northern Queensland. But give you a quick look here over North America the last few days. As we saw this wildfire smoke from Quebec travel across the Atlantic Ocean. You can see it right here, right over central North Atlantic. And moving into Europe. Sorry. <laughs> Yet again, Canada sorry for all of the wildfire smoke. But thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. And as well, much love to everybody. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by natural disasters. Going through a lot of changes on this planet together. And buckle up, because it's about to get worse. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Much love. Bye-bye now. Leave you here. Looking at our sun. For the past 48 hours. Good night. <laughs>